Let's do this one now. Uh, which one of the following compounds has the highest energy and the particular conformation it's in? Um, so you can see in all of these compounds we have the conformer. So they're all methyl chlorocyclohexanes. This one's 1, 2, this one's 1, 3, and this one's 1, 4. Okay? And we're all, we all have, we have them all in the conformer where they're both of the substituents on the cyclohexane ring are in the axial position. Okay, <clears throat> so here we have in the one, two positions, both of the substituents is axial. Now, remember when we have axial uh, substituents that are close to each other, um, they knock into each other and they have that um, steric interaction. Steric meaning where two things are trying to occupy the same space at the same time. So here we have two axial substituents on carbons that are adjacent to each other, but remember they're on opposite sides of the ring. Okay, so if we drew the struct, uh, the skeletal formula, it would look like that. So they're actually not even seeing each other. One's pointing up like that and the other one's pointing down. So even though they may be big and bulky and flopping on the sides, right, they don't, um, uh, on the axial positions, they don't actually hit each other. In this conformer, so Here we've got them in the, well, whatever, uh, one, two, three positions away from each other. So, one, two, three. So they're both down and they're both axial. So they're both at the same side of the ring, on the same side of the ring and they can see each other and they're big and bulky. So what happens even though they're further away from each other than the 1, 2 positions, the 1, 3 positions where you've got two big axial substituents, they actually clash and they don't like to be next to each other because of the steric hindrance. We call that the 1, 3 diaxial interaction. Okay, so that's really bad. High, high energy. Okay, so here we have uh, the two substituents and the one four position. So let's see what they look like when we draw them in the skeletal formula. So we have this one going up. One, two, three, four, like okay. that. And this one going down. Okay, so they don't even see each other. So high energy one. It's the one with the one three diaxial interaction. We can do a couple more of these if you guys need.